wow. Gee, just freaking wow, man. The, the last episode of season two has yet to come out yet. At least over here. And we already got confirmation. All right, you know, I came home, took a nap, woke up, checked Twitter, and turns out Love Live Superstar is doing the impossible. Is doing something that's never happened. Well, look at me wrong. Um, Sunshine is coming back, so that's a big surprise, you know, to make a big comeback. That's a shocker. Man, it's like a little spinoff of Isekai. That's one thing. But, but come back with a full blown canon season three? Yo, dude, are you kidding me? You know, you know, I've always said, I know it's going to happen next. I know it's going to be a movie or perhaps another season, but here we go. We got another season of freaking Love Life. Like, oh my goodness, the, the curse, the curse. The season two curse has been left at people. Usually we get two canned seasons and then a movie and then we move on to the next project. And with these two series going back and back, oh, people were questioning, oh man, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Are there going to be another season? Be another movie? What, what was going to happen? We didn't know because it was just unique where they will have two series coming out back to back. But that's only the case is because I found out recently, because, let me, let me go back. Sunshine is coming back with a spinoff, non-canon season. Uh, this is getting a season three, which never been, never happened in the history of Love Live ever. And Nijasaki is coming back with chibi anime. And someone posted, um, you tell us people don't really care for about Nijasaki. That's not the case. Nijasaki was a side project. It's not part of the main line. It's literally its own thing, which I recently found out. So, and it's smaller, so it don't have much support or budget like the others do. So because of that, if they get a chance to get back to it, they'll get back to it. But right now, the one that's on the main line, the one that's the canon one, of course, which is about Love Live, is the one that matters the most. So it's getting a season three. Jesus, man. Like... I found out, I saw a little video on YouTube, which of course it was all in Japanese and stuff, and Brave still don't have freaking translate on it, I know, right? So, I was just scrolling through Twitter, like, oh, that's what that was. Yes, season three, baby. Yo, uh, it's crazy. I can't believe it's happening. You know, I was saying, like, you know, probably a movie. And I did say probably season three, but I didn't think it would be season three. I already thought it would be a movie. But no, we're, we're getting to season three. Apparently, there's a big cliffhanger at the end of season two, which I've yet to see, which I'll be reviewing tomorrow. And there we go. We see, season three is greenlit. It. It's it's crazy, man. Can't believe it. Season three. You know, I was just putting it to the side. The fact that it's actually happening. It's like, wow. Can't believe it. So no movie, which I'm okay. So the question is, is did she decide to stay abroad or what? This is gonna happen. I got to watch the last episode of season two, which I'll do tomorrow, and and, and see what happened. What's causing this season three? Because you know the other series they won Love Live, but it wasn't really on the last episode of season two. It was usually towards near the last episode of season two, and then they find a way to find closure in their feelings together of saying goodbye. And then they go off into one last adventure, which is going into, you know, the movie. This one, they're literally going to the finals at the very last episode. So therefore, you know, you don't have the time to really find that closure to find that thing. Like, there we go. And the fact that we're getting a full season three is going to be, they win it this season. And so they go into next season as winners and we're gonna see that you know that after effect that reaction of them being the champions and them being around at the school for an entire season <laughs> oh and not only that 
Bebo. Hold on, not only that, we getting new members. How many members again? Are we getting one member, two members, three members? It's gonna be. It's gonna be twelve members. It's gonna be twelve. We'll get three more. Three more members. Oh my god. <laughs> Because that would be crazy. Now we all have we love to have twelve members. I would not do it. This is interesting, you know. Season three, well, season one started out with you know like what five members, two, nine, and then now it's now over season three. Bam, man, we hit you. I already like members. We could give you more members. That's be three, three members. Are they going to love life again? Are they going to win love life twice? Holy crap. And they went in life twice. Ooh. Baby. Not only are they going to break the record of the season three, they're going to break the record of winning love life twice. But 12 members. Oh my god. Mm. You can't believe how hyped I am about this, people. You cannot believe how hyped I am about this. It's going to be crazy as a love life fan. I am excited. I am ecstatic. I am astonished. Woo. Man, just one jolt out the spine, baby. So anyways, that this video I just wanted to share my hype with you people and all the Love Life fans out there. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. This has been a Minecraft on Madame. Signing out.